Hello everybody, it's Paul Neitz with the Raw Life Pelcho and we are giving you an update on our yard. We're growing a whole bunch of fruit trees, trying to plan out where the trees fit best. I have the, the tree grower coming later where I got all the trees from. He'll confirm that my spot is where I picked everything is, is acceptable. I believe it is because we kind of went over it, but he'll move it if, if it plans call for us to move them and I'll let everyone know. But what I got going on right now is I have a big space here. And I want to leave this space open because it is my dream one day to have a tiny home. And uh, the fence opens up right here to this space and it's enough space for a little trailer, a school bus, or some tiny home or something else. That's way down the line. But for right now, uh, the only thing I'm going to plant here in the entrance here is a coconut tree right here. It'll grow up nice. And then I'm trying to line coconut trees against this whole wall. So I got four coconut trees growing against this whole wall here and I might be able to fit some more in, so that's really exciting. But I got coconuts along the wall here, and I also put here uh, a cherry bush. Uh, this is really exciting, it's a uh, Barbados cherry, uh, so I'm excited about that. That's gonna go here in our coconuts, we have the room here, and now I'm gonna take into the back and show you what we got growing on back here. So here's my coconut trees. Now, I got a good amount of space here, and this is where I'm gonna plan to put possibly put a garden. Uh, if it's too shaded, I left another area for a possible garden as well. So when we walk in here, first thing we see here is a mango tree. And uh, this mango tree actually already has some ma little mangoes growing in them. I have four mango trees, each for different seasons, so I should have mango tr mangoes throughout the whole year, or at least 10 months out of the year. So this is one mango tree. It'll grow big. Now all my trees, I'm not going to let grow too big. I'm going to control them. Uh, let them grow out instead of up. So I'll be able to get most of the fruit and it'll actually fruit better. So that's the mango tree right here. As you can see, I got the coconut trees there. And behind this mango tree is a little shed. That's going to be the shed where I'm going to use my uh, compost. Behind the shed is my compost. And I'm going to have a compost toilet in that shed. So I'll be able to do the compost toilet and go behind it and actually put it in the compost pile. And uh, it won't interfere with things too much. But we got some compost buckets back there which we'll show you. Uh, so coming back here, we have another mango tree here. This is my favorite mango tree. This is a lemon meringue mango. It tastes like lemon meringue. This is my favorite one. It's really tall. There's already a couple of mangoes on there. Uh, it's enough dip distance away from the previous one. Excited about that. If we just turn this way here, yet yeah, another mango tree. Uh, another season. And I'm keeping my mango trees in the back because uh, they look very tempting to people driving by. Uh, so I might throw one up front, but here's another mango tree. Not too close to the house, so a lot of mangoes won't fall on the house, but good enough there. So we keep coming back here. And here I have an avocado tree. And uh, again, I got three or four avocado trees, different seasons. Uh, so I'm going to have avocados 10 months out of the year. Really excited about that. So I got an avocado tree here. And if we come back, we're working on our compost system back here. Right now we have two compost buckets. Eventually we may need more, but they, they go pretty well, so we might not need to. Now, if you see here what I just completed, I put on the fence. I put on the fence uh, this all around because I'm going to grow passion fruit against the whole fence here. So come right here and just look in here. And you can see I got the whole fence with these. And here are our passion fruit trees. I got three against this tree. And three against the other, I got purple, I got red, and I got yellow. Passion fruits that are going to go all around. Yeah. Coming here, we have a lychee tree. Love lychees, they grow great here in South Florida. We have a lychee here. Now we got some wires there. Uh, that could be a concern if we plant a tree too close to them. But I'm not planning on a tree getting too much higher than that to begin with. So I, I, I didn't put those, uh, the bigger trees close to this. If I want them to grow big, uh, but that's probably the height uh, of the tree I'm going to let it get to begin with. So that's going to be fine. I got a coconut tree here I'm going to put in the corner here. Just uh, because I want a coconut tree in the corner. Love coconut. So there's a coconut tree. Now here uh, I have a sugar apple. So I got my sugar apple here. It doesn't grow as tall. Uh, beautiful tree, beautiful fruit. I got that here. And as you can see I got a passion fruit going against this wall. 
here I got a lemon tree. I'm really excited about lemons because uh, we use them quite often. So I got a lemon tree here. And I've left the middle, there used to be a big tree right in the middle of the, in the garden. And I've, uh, in the yard, I left that open for my best possible place for the garden because it gets the most sun. The trees on this side aren't gonna grow as big because of the wire and just because I'm gonna keep them lower. And it'll be perfect sun. Uh, I might just close up the area here and have a perfect area for a garden here. The trees that'll go around, uh, they might come over somewhat, but I'm gonna keep them trimmed back. And if the first area I showed you isn't good for the garden, this area will be good, maybe both, we'll see. Coming around here, now initially I had a, a lime tree here, but I'm gonna take the lime tree out and put this other tree here. This is another avocado, so I'm gonna have this tree here and I'll replant the, uh, the lime tree somewhere else. Now over here we have the septic tank. And the septic tank area, we're not allowed to plant trees there for obvious reasons. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some lines here going across, some fishing line going across above it and put some either grapes or, or some other type of fruit that can grow on a line, maybe dragon fruit or even more passion fruit. Okay, here I have uh, this uh, uh, sour sap. I have two sour sap trees. Here's one, and the other one is right here. Two of my favorite trees, two sour sap trees. And then over there in the corner, I have another lemon tree. That's a small one. Uh, I might replace it with a bigger one uh, just to get things started. As you can see, I'm keeping things away from the house so nothing's coming over on the roof, so a lot of Fruit isn't wasted, dropping on the roof. And I'm also leaving a good enough area for a garden. Uh, so uh, enough room space between the trees. Uh, now we'll go over to the front and I'll show you what we're doing there. Now I have two parts to the front of the yard. And I also got a neighbor who's working with a generator right now, so it's a little loud. But right here, I have a, an ability to plant a nice tree, but I plan to have a good amount of company here, so I want to leave this available for cars. So I'm not going to plant trees here, but I will put one maybe over here. Not sure yet which one, but I have to move for another tree here. Maybe a coconut or a longan tree right here. But if you come around to this one, we cleaned up the back and there's the junk that they're going to get rid of. But I got one coconut tree right here. And then we continue to come around. Right now I have a carambola, which is a star fruit tree right here. And behind it, I have an avocado tree. And my plan is to get over here a sapodilla tree or another mm -hmm. coconut. And uh, that's the plan right now that we have. I'll keep you updated as the project's going along. Really excited about it. You gotta make sure you come on down and visit me in West Palm Beach, Florida. Hello everybody, thank you for checking out my channel. If you want more videos, you can click subscribe here right now and you can be taken to my channel. If you want to check out my website, you can click here and you can go to my website. Uh, I want to thank you for checking us out. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day and a great raw life.